In today's episode, we're going to take a look at why you need one of these in your life. Roll titles. Hi everyone, James Mackay here from Barbecue.com and welcome back to another episode of Barbecue Know How. Today we're going to take a look at uh, instant read thermometers and why they are an essential piece of equipment for a beginner. So we should probably start by explaining what an instant read thermometer is. And that is essentially a temperature probe which allows you to take an internal reading of the temperature inside your meat so you know if it's safe to eat and if it's ready to come off your grill. There are two main reasons why I think an instant read thermometer is an essential piece of gear. The first one is to do with food safety and the second one is to do with the quality of the food you're cooking. So if we look at the first reason, food hygiene, it's not a sexy subject by any stretch of the imagination but it's an essential part of cooking. You want to make sure the food you're lifting off your grill is safe to eat and there's no bacteria inside that meat that's going to make you sick. Almost all meats you cook on the barbecue have a safe internal temperature. So you know when the centre of that piece of meat reaches that temperature, the bacteria has been killed off and it is safe to eat. So before we go any further, I just want to address a, a barbecue myth that when you're cooking on your barbecue, you're more likely to get food poisoning than when you're cooking in the kitchen. Whenever you step outside to the barbecue, food poisoning doesn't suddenly become a thing. If you cook a sausage or a burger wrong in the barbecue, you'll get food poisoning. If you cook a sausage or a burger wrong in the kitchen, yes, you'll get food poisoning. The barbecue doesn't play a factor in it. So if you cook food wrong in either situation, you're going to get food poisoning. So cook to those safe internal temperatures and that is why an instant read thermometer can help you read what them temperatures are and stay safe. So I'll leave a link below for one of my articles from the 30 Days to Better Barbecue series that we did last year. Um, it's all about knowing when your food's cooked, so that's cooking to those safe internal temperatures. There's links in there for a great article over on Amazing Ribs with uh, the different temperatures for different meats. So check that out in the description below. So reason number two to own an instant read thermometer is to do with the quality of the food you're cooking. This kind of goes back to the whole barbecue myth that you're more likely to get food poisoning from the food you're cooking on your barbecue. People get a little bit worried that it isn't quite ready yet, so they leave it on for an extra few minutes and in fact they're actually overcooking their food. So when I first got an instant read thermometer, I did a little bit of a test just to see how much I was overcooking my food. Uh, I put some chicken onto the barbecue, which the safe internal temperature would be 75 degrees. The aim was to lift that chicken off as close to 75 degrees as possible, so that I knew it was safe to eat. However, because I wasn't taking the internal readings, I was just doing it by look and feel. The chicken ended up being almost I think 87 or 88 degrees which is way overcooked and chicken can really dry out if you overcook it. So that instant read probe would have allowed me to lift the chicken off a lot sooner, the chicken would have been perfectly nice to eat but instead going by eye and going by feel it was well overcooked. It also comes in handy then for cooking things like steaks, uh, each level of doneness has a different temperature you can aim for. So if you like a steak done medium or medium well or medium rare, each time you can stick the probe in, know when it's reached that temperature and lift it off. Again, you're not doing the whole thumb test thing to try and see what it feels like and every steak's different, so it never works. So if you have an instant read thermometer, uh, you can probe that every time and get it to that temperature and take it off. Which instant read thermometer should you buy? 
Essentially, if you don't own one at the minute, just buy any instant read thermometer. The key thing is that you're taking those temperatures and checking to see when your food is safe to eat and when it's not overcooked. So buy any instant read thermometer you can afford. If you want to know my opinion on the best one, it's this, the Thermapen. This is the Mark IV, but the Mark III still does a really good job. This has kind of become a little bit of an industry standard. Uh, when new thermometers are uh, released onto the market, or Bluetooth thermometers, or any kind of thermometer, they're generally tested against this, because it is so accurate, it's so fast to take a reading, so people trust it, and it's become that sort of benchmark for thermometers. So whenever you use this to take a temperature, it locks in the temperature within a few seconds, so you're not spending loads of time with the lid off the barbecue losing heat. There's some nice features in this, but essentially people like it because it's fast, hence why it's called the super fast thermopen. Uh, I have a full review of this on the website, um, I'll leave links for it in the description, plus I'll leave links over to the thermopen website if you want to know a little bit more about it. Um, I'm not going to do a full video review on it, although if you would like me to do a review on the features of it, just let me know in the comments below. They're not the cheapest thermometers in the world. Um, I think they retail around £60, although they do offers in different colours every now and again. So if there's any offers on the point of me releasing this video, I'll leave links to them as well. But go for the Mark IV or the Mark III. The Mark IV is the newest one, so I would definitely recommend it. Welcome to the future. So I recorded that Thermopen video a few days ago and since then I thought why not get in touch with ETI and see if they would be interested in giving away a Thermopen Mark IV to one of my subscribers. To which they replied, hell yes. So the details are in the description for the giveaway. ETI are going to provide a Thermopen Mark IV, not this one, this one's mine. But they will provide a Thermopen Mark IV and a set of tongs to one lucky winner. So the details are there of how to enter. You need to be subscribed to the channel, plus there's a few ways to gain extra entries to increase your chances of winning. So good luck, uh, we'll leave this competition running for about two weeks and I'll announce the winner on one of my videos. So make sure you're subscribed and follow all the details in the link to make sure your entries are in. So I hope that video was helpful. You can check out all the links below in the description for the Thermopen review and the Thermopen website, etc. Plus the giveaway details. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, give the video a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next episode.